Well, tough questions for Governor Hochul today on the heels of some new polling released by Siena College. 82% of those surveyed answered that the recent influx of migrants to the state is a serious problem. And 46% of them are rating Governor Hochul unfavorably. That is a new low for her approval rating. And today, the governor was in the town of Tonawanda, and she was asked about the migrant crisis and those poll results about her job approval rating. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing was there as well and had those tough questions for the governor. To date, there are about 500 individuals who've been sheltered in this vicinity. Governor Hochul says the state is providing financial support to local organizations working with asylum seekers. She wants them to get legal asylum so they can be an asset and work. My view is let them work. Let them have the opportunity for legal work status sooner than later. She says the state has requested the White House for flexibility to grant temporary protective status. I'm going to be allocating effective today, identifying uh, organizations that we can support with $36 million additional to help upstate communities that are now embracing asylum seekers help speed up the process to legal work status. The Siena poll showed many voters have strong thoughts on the recent influx of migrants. It's something I asked the governor to address. That recent poll said 54% of the people said that the whole migrant issue is a serious problem. I understand the feelings of people living in our communities. There is a fear of the unknown. What does this mean? Are the numbers going to increase? Can we handle this? That is real for our residents, and I want to assure them that we are working very hard so they can have the same right to work. Are you concerned at all about DACO? Have they failed? Any areas where they have uh, signed a contract, committed to provide certain services and have not, that is something that the state is involved with as well. So I am concerned about that. And when it comes to the state AG saying New York should provide services for the homeless for the entire state, Hochul says. The state of New York does not have that same legal agreement binding us. Our constitution is clear. And as for the poll pointing to Hoko's lowest favorability numbers, she says, quote, it has no impact on how I do my job. In the newsroom, Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News. Claudine, thank you for that.